this is Taylor Scott. Welcome back to the SGEI offices here in Las Vegas. A hot topic right now in the world, and especially in corporate America, is generational diversity. Just like we have age diversity, just like we have gender diversity, just like we have racial diversity, we also have generational diversity. So at any one time, in a meeting or among a team, anywhere across the land, we could have as many as four generations represented. We could have baby boomers. These are folks that are born between 1946 and 1964. Then we have Gen Xers, born between 1965 and 1982. And then our Gen Yers or our millennials, born between 83 and the year 2000. And then finally, new to the scene, our Gen Zers. And they're born from 2001 up until present time. So with this comes varying levels of experience, varying levels of expertise, and then varying levels of expectations. This is where conflict can sometimes arise. Some people even say the difference between expectations and reality can literally be defined as misery. So it behooves any leader to reduce misery among the team and boost morale and productivity. This is where empathy comes into play. We've talked about this a great deal. Empathy is not necessarily about agreeing with everyone, but it is about understanding everyone understanding people's experience, understanding the expectations they might have, understanding how they feel, and then maybe most importantly, understanding the value that they can bring to the table. I like what author Tim Elmore says. He says, read them before you lead them. So think about what this can help you do as a leader. If you understand the value that somebody can bring to the table, if you understand their experience, and if you understand how they feel, about certain things, you're gonna be able to set them up for success. You're gonna be able to form complementary teams. For example, you might want to match up somebody that is weaker or less experienced in a certain area with somebody, perhaps from a different generation, who is more experienced or more comfortable in that same area. This is how you're gonna be able to form a high performing team. So I want you to practice two things this week. One. Carve out some time to practice empathy. Carve out some time to listen, to observe, and to really feel what your team is feeling. And then the second thing is reiterate back to them what you understand that they feel, and what you understand is their experience and their expectations. And again, most importantly, reiterate back to them the value that you believe they bring to your organization and you can watch and you can feel their mood start to rise. You can see the productivity start to take a whole new pace. And it all will have happened because you practiced empathy and compassion. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you soon.